I kept hearing older, more seasoned professionals ask, what do I do with these young people? In one way or another, they would ask me this question. They come into my office without a pen and paper in their hand. Well, what does that mean? They don't respect me. They don't care about this organization. They don't want to be successful here. But what if it just means that they didn't know they were supposed to bring a pen and paper or something to take notes with? But they should know, but they don't. But they should. We'll try this. And so I started giving lots of ideas, right? This has happened over and over and over again. And so I won this really big award. And I won't go into the details of it, but I basically had no idea even what I was doing when I won this award. So I had to pull together. I was supposed to go to Dallas, Texas to receive it. I pulled together six of the people I'd interviewed and said, what, what, am, what is Misty doing? And it was really clear that I needed to do something to help bridge the generational gap. You see, because the opportunity was there. People were struggling there. And I had already done a bunch of research because I was curious. Because I was curious about what, why are they struggling? Why did I struggle? Why am I in this place that I'm in right now? I don't want to struggle like this. I don't want to have all this anxiety. Why am I here? And as I read the research, I kept going, oh my god, they said this. I heard that. They said this. I heard that. And vice versa, right? So there was a mm, clash, mm, clash. 